Hey y'all, it's Amanda with Tap Mom and the Beg Brigade. Hope everybody's having a good Tuesday. Um, hadn't been too bad around here. Uh, managed to get Theo to go on a walk with me. Leroy would not go on a walk. He wouldn't, um, I put the leash on him and he pancaked to the floor. <laughs> he didn't want to go out. <laughs> he didn't want to go for a walk. But Theo gl gladly went on a walk with me. And so, but he he's the one that really needs to exercise. I just thought maybe a walk would wear Leroy out. And, uh, but Theo, um, definitely enjoyed his walk. Unfortunately, he did his business in somebody's yard and I had to pick it up. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> but I was prepared. I had, uh, took a double, double, doubled up grocery bag with me to, to pick it up. So, um, it wasn't that bad. I just carried it back to the house and put it in our trash can outside. But, um. Uh, I got done with Johnny's blanket last night in the wee hours of the morning. Um, <laughs> but I got her done. <laughs> I'll insert a picture at the end of the video so y'all can see. Uh, those of y'all that are on the Facebook group have already seen it. But we do have a Facebook group uh, for the channel. It's small, you know, just like my channel, small. <laughs> but it's all right because that enables me to have a more, you know, personal relationship with everybody. So, um, I like it just fine. Uh, and I did get back some of my subscribers that, um, that I lost when I did a certain video. And so, uh, I'm glad for that. Um, I want to thank everybody that got to come out to, uh, got to, uh, join in on Johnny's birthday bash last night. He only wanted to go an hour, so that's all we did was an hour. But he was very happy and he enjoyed it very much. And, uh, he got a few more cards today, so I'm gonna show those to y'all in a minute. And I, I did, I'm done, I, I know in the live last night I was talking, I didn't think I had enough yarn to do Will's blanket as big as, as Johnny's blanket because it covers the, Johnny's blanket covers the whole bed. Uh, my bed, and we both have queen size beds. So it covers, it covers almost the whole bed. So um, it's plenty big enough for him to sleep under. Um, but it took 3,100 yards. <laughs> Yes, 3,100 yards of yarn. All, uh, almost, I all, see, well, I do have this giant, just this big ball left out of the third skein of the leaf colored uh, Premier Basics yarn. So I have this. I'm, I'm going to go around the blanket with a single crochet just to kind of give it a little finishing touch. I just hadn't had a chance to do that yet. Um, I did go to uh, Joann's and pick, do a pickup because I decided that. Um, this cream color was kind of out, out of out of sync with his with Will's colors that he likes. He's he's more of a green and black kind of guy. So this was the blanket that I had started for him. See this color here on the end is juniper. This is the uh, line brand um, basic stitch anti peeling in the color two pines, and this is Premier Basic in cream. So this is what I had started uh, for Will, and um, but after really considering it and kind of, you know, chewing on it, he's not really a cream kind of guy. If I had put another um, shade of green in here, that would have been fine. But uh, the cream is a, is a bit much. Uh, it's it's too it's too light for Will. Will's not a light colored guy. Um, even though his his new promotion, they want him to wear a white polo shirt, um, and he's like, well, he he. He's used to getting himself dirty working on cars, and now he's not supposed to work on cars anymore because he's a manager where he's at. Um, but he's been having to go into the shop and help the boys in the shop because they get, apparently that store does about three times as much business as his other store. And so, and they don't have as good a experienced um, tech, uh, tire and in, 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 uh, oil tech as Will is. Will's probably got over 10 years experience doing that so he's been doing it a long time he did it at Walmart first and then he went and did uh, security work for a while and then he ended up at uh, what was it called gateway it was gateway tire when he first worked worked there and I think this is his second or third time working there <laughs> yeah they keep wanting him back he he, he uh, at some one point got a um, job um working for uh the state in the dot department of transportation um 
where they do the road construction and all that. He did that for almost a year, but he just, uh, he's not a pencil pusher and he needed a physical job and that wasn't a physical job. And then he worked another job where he was sandblasting uh, electric motors and he would have probably stayed there, but the boss man uh, was really a monster. And um, he, he just treated Will like a, a non-human cussing him out, calling him out his name, all kinds of, you know, just terrible day after day after day. And Will just couldn't take it. He said, Mom, if I stay at this job, I'm going to jail because I'm not going to let that man keep talking to me that way. So uh, he ended up going back to Gatewell. It's not Gateway anymore. It's Mavis Tire now. So he went back there, and that's where he's been for almost a year now. So he's kind of job hopped a little bit, but usually he stays a whole year wherever he works. Um... In the, the security job, they, they laid people off for some reason, but he didn't he didn't let that stop him. He went right back and got into the job within a week, so he's a hard worker, and he's reliable, so it's not hard for him to get a job, but he's, you know, he's struggling a little bit with this manager stuff. He said, and it's wearing him out, he said, because there's no sitting. He said, you don't get a break. They're not giving lunch breaks. They're not giving 15-minute breaks, which is illegal. Uh, so he's he's uh, mulling that over how he wants to deal with that. <coughs> mm, excuse me, y'all. Uh, sometimes I get stuff in my throat. I have a mild case of COPD, and sometimes it just, it, out, of, out of the blue, you'll get choked up over nothing. But anyway, um, Joanne's has Big Twist on sale for two ninety nine, and then you can use the 20% to pick up um, the, the yarn, and it's... It brings it down to, I forget, two something. But to, for two something a skein, and I did the math, I needed three of each color that I wanted to use because Big Twist has more yardage than some other uh, places. Um, their value yarn is a 380 yards. So that's more yardage than um, Hobby Lobby and, and more yardage than Premier. And um, you can't beat it for the price. So let me pull the colors out and I'll show you what is going to be in his new, the new, the blanket that I will be making him. It's, it's going to be a corner to corner because I can work that pretty quick. But these are the colors um, that I'll be using for him. Two different shades of green and black. So I'll probably start off with this uh, dark green and then I'll do this green and then black. And that's probably what I'll do. I'll just use like a whole whole skein of this dark, and then I'll use a whole skein of the um, light, and then I'll use a whole skein of the black, and then I'll start it over again. But um, so that's I think that's what I'm gonna. I'm not gonna do the striping stuff, you know, where you do so many rows and then you clip and because I I just I don't want to do do it that way. <laughs> so these would be big stripes, uh, but uh, I'll um, I'll do it like I did Johnny's where. Um, I got it, you know, long, where I wanted long enough, and then I'll work that last corner when do de decreases. The decreases on the uh, corner to corner seemed to take forever because Johnny's blanket was so big. Uh, but I can't very well make him that big a blanket and not make Will that big a blanket. Of course, this blanket doesn't have to be done until September, uh, which is when uh, Will's birthday is. So I got about three months. Um, so Will's birthday is September 12th, and he'll be 32. And uh, my birthday is October 2nd, and I will be 51. <laughs> it feels so weird to say 50. <laughs> oh, goodness. It's not like I could prevent myself from aging. You know, it's not like you can, you know, stop stop, stop the clock or whatever. It just happens. But, uh, you know, at least I don't exactly look 50. So that's, uh, that's good. I stayed away from hard drinking and smoking and all the things that make you look older before your time I stayed away from all that stuff and stayed out of trouble never been arrested or anything like that um, not holding it again, not judging anybody else if you had a rough a rough time at some point but it just it you know I just tried to uh, walk you know stay in my lane and and do, do what was right and not what was wrong and um, you know despite the things that happened to me when I was growing up uh, I had a really rough childhood, um, a lot of abuse and neglect, and um, 
you know, lots and lots of neglect. But um, I didn't, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not the type of person to let that, sorry, I'm putting this yarn back in a bag. Uh, but I'm not the type of person to uh, let that dictate how my future's gonna be, you know? And I mean, I, you know, I've seen a lot of people that had not as bad childhoods as me ended up drug addicts or criminals or something, you know? And uh, I, I've never even felt like I, w I wanted to do that. Um, it's, it's just not, not who I am. And so I never got addicted to drugs or alcohol or any of that stuff, despite my upbringing. I mean, my sister's dad was a stone cold alcoholic and um, probably did some other things too, but I was too young to know what other things he might be doing. But when he was sober, he was gold. But you get him drunk, and he was he was a beating pe beating on people kind of dude. And uh, but sober, he was a great guy when he was sober. But drunk, which is how he was most of the time, was drunk. And uh, that was that was hard. That was really hard. And um, in 1985, I don't remember how old I was, but maybe 12. And um, he removed 13 times that year, like every month and twice in one month. He just moved and moved and moved. Every time the bills come due, move, you know. And um, so, yeah, he, he, he had us being nomads where we just moved from place to place. And so you really couldn't get, get used to anything because the next thing you know, you're moving again. You know, we were in and out of different schools and um, get away from that. Um, he still goes over and sniffs my yarn. Um, and was it last week, he actually got a tote open and had yarn all over this room and ball bands all chewed up. And anyway, I'm still, I'm still not happy with him because of that. But mm, this little joker is something else. Let me tell y'all, last night, or no, it was this morning, I put him in the backyard so I could go back to bed because I didn't, I didn't go to bed until like three this morning. And then he had me up at, I want to say 10 o'clock, something like that. But my sleep was like up and down, up and down. I went to bed, but I kept having to go to the bathroom or, you know, just had trouble going to sleep. Our neighbor's dogs just barked and barked and barked all night long. And so uh, it, it's, it's hard to sleep when you got loud dogs barking next door that, they'd, I mean, they'd stop for like 10 seconds and then they'd start right back up. So it was awful, <laughs> just awful. Uh, they got two little puppy pit bulls over there. They're about six months old. And I think they're making them stay outside. And so they bark in unison. Because they're litter mates. So, um, yeah. They're both little pit, gray, gray and white pit bulls. Beautiful little dogs, but barky. Bad barky. Uh, Leroy barks when he's outside. And sometimes when he's inside. Um, he's about scared of everything. <laughs> but what can you do? Let me show you all these cards Johnny got. One of them had $5, five $1 bills, and one had a PlayStation uh, card in it for him. So thank y'all. Um, I don't remember which one had, had it. But this first card is from Connie Wagner. Connie and Candace Wagner, excuse me. From Columbus, Ohio. And let's see, I'll show you the... Nope, this one's got stickers in it. I almost forgot. She sent him some stickers. I'm just going to put them in the envelope so I don't lose them. I'll give it back to him when I bring them back. Uh, let's see, this is with the front look. We got some Snoopy and Woodchuck on the cake. And it says, John, hope you have a cake filled, fun filled, happy, happy birthday. With love, Connie and Candace Wagner. Love that. Connie is a channel member and has been most of the time that I've had channel membership. And here's a card that, <laughs> he got two of this particular card from different people. This one is uh, from Tammy in Kansas. <laughs> he had another one just like this from someone else. It says, don't worry about another birthday. In dog years, you're still a puppy. Happy birthday, Johnny. And, uh, yeah, okay, she wrote a personal note in here for him. I'll probably have to read that to him. He doesn't read cursive very well. <laughs> I love Tammy and family, and she put patches in, looks like Texas. Something like that. 
her dog's names. Love that. Let's see. Oh, that's the water bill. <laughs> Y'all don't need to know about that. <laughs> Daggum $100 water bill. Mm. It is what it is. And here it says, it's all about you. And see this one. Oh, Connie Emerson. I got two uh, two cards from two different Connies. That's pretty cool. Celebrating the special person you are and wishing you an awesome birthday. Uh, love Connie Emerson. I watch your mom's channel. It says. Wonderful future. <clears throat> that note is really sweet. But like I said, I don't remember which card had. I think. Connie Wagner's card had the five going one dollar bills, and then one of these other cards had um, a PlayStation gift card, so he readily took that with him. <laughs> so I think he's gotten was it three different cards that had five dollars in it? So he's got fifteen bucks now. <laughs> He'll be wanting to go to the game exchange soon. Uh, there's a, a store here that uh, you can take games that you're done playing that are in really good shape. And you can take them in there and you can um, get store credit with those games and get a different different game. And so uh, we've done that so many times. And I'm sure he's probably about due. Because uh, he once it's a lot of times when he finishes uh, running the whole game through, you know, he's been all through the obstacles and whatever. He's, he's completely been through the game um, and beat it usually. He beats the game. Um, so, uh, yeah. And he'll, he'll go the, through the whole game. And then he won't feel like starting over he'll he'll want to move on to the next game uh so he does that sometimes and uh, when he does we try to go and exchange it for something that he hasn't played yet and wants to play so um there's that and i'm recording this one on my phone um i didn't feel like fooling with the uh, webcam today um because i need to uh, I, i'm not starting will's blanket right right away because i have two tops i need to make i'm making a red cotton top um for someone special and I, when I get it sent off to her, I'll let you know who that's for. Um, and so um, I'm doing that for her. And then I have one that I've been commissioned to do. So, that well, there's been no deposit, but we talked money. And she knows uh, that she's in Canada. So she knows uh, the shipping is crazy to Canada. And she's, she's okay with that. So... Um, and I'll just uh, put the put, put this out there. Um, if any of y'all that that are uncomfortable making tops would like to have me make you one, just email me. My email's always in the description box. Uh, for the lower 48, I include shipping, and it'd be like 65 bucks. So uh, just you know, just email me if you're interested, and I'll make you a top. And um, or you know, I probably I'm when come fall when the weather cools off, I'll get back to making sweaters. And I make the granny square pullover sweater, and I make car uh, cardigans in the granny stitch and cardigans in a solid stitch. And the ones uh, in the solid stitch cardigans are um, eighty dollars because it takes more yarn. But uh, of course, if you're in Canada and don't mind paying the postage, then we can do that. Um, but sometimes it's cost prohibitive because it you know. It's not cheap, um, but um, I just figured I would throw that out there. If uh, if y'all are interested in having something made by me, then uh, let me know. And uh, this this uh, this corner to corner blanket, when I get back to it, that will be up for grabs too. So um, I don't know if I'll gift it to someone or sell it, but it'll be a big one because um, when I pulled all the yarn out that uh, goes with that blanket, I discovered that I indeed had enough to make it a real big one. So, um, I didn't know that I did. I did, I, you know, got to look in and realize, oh man, I have more, more of that yarn than I thought I did. So yeah. Um, and of course that one, I'm doing so many rows and so each color and then, you know, striping in the next color. Um, so I will continue with that. Um, not, not right away. I got to make these two tops first. And then um, I'll start wheels because it, it'll take a while. I'm not I'm not going to rush myself like I did with Johnny's. Uh, when I made Johnny's, I was trying to get it ready for his birthday, and I fought, fell short by one day. <laughs> but it, it's it's fine. I'm gonna put the um, single crochet around it, and then wash it and give it to him, and he can start enjoying it because uh, he likes to cover up. 
He likes to uh, run the air conditioner and then cover up. <laughs> but that's okay. I don't mind that. Um, he's a fantastic son to me, and I'm very blessed to have both of them. Um, Will is kind of our protector, and Johnny is my helper. So, um, and that daggum, that daggum Leroy found a way to get into the other part of our yard. Luckily, he couldn't get out of that yard either, because our whole yard is fenced, but there's like a specific little square of the yard that's fenced, that's separate fenced off for the dogs. And when my landlord used to live in this house, he, he did that so that, he, you know, his dogs would just be in that spot of the yard right off the back porch. But the back porch is poorly built. And there's a little corner right here that was just big enough for Leroy to get through. And I didn't know about that hole until Will, when I got up this afternoon, Will says, uh, Leroy was in the other part of the yard. And I said, how the heck did he do that? And then I went out and looked and found this little small corner that was loose. And, uh, and he went, he, because as soon as I went back there to look, he jumped through that thing and showed me exactly how he done it. But I was able to call him back and get him, you know, back in where he's supposed to be. But, um, <sighs> strawberry water again, y'all. Don't need no caffeine today. Uh, probably going to have to have some tomorrow, though. But I'll t start to, um, I need to email that lady and see if I can get a deposit. I'd feel much better about starting that top if I had a deposit. Because um, people do change their minds. But if they give a deposit, then they're not going to change their mind. But I would like a little deposit just to, just to kind of secure, feel more secure. And that I'm not going to be stuck with a top that, you know, you know what I mean? But the other top is a gift that I'm making someone. And I'm just going to... Um, I don't know if I'll make it in the style of my Rising Phoenix. Or if I'll just kind of wing it and make her something unique. Um, she's a unique kind of person. So, um, I think that it, it would be fitting for her to have her own design. So, um, and I, pro I, don't, I don't really foresee myself doing a tutorial for something that uh, is, there's lots of tutorials out for the picture I have in my mind. There's many tutorials out for that exact thing. I'm just gonna wing it myself, to be honest. I, I'm not gonna look at a, look up a tutorial for what I have in my head. I'm just gonna do it. I have a t-shirt that's the same size as her. Um, for both ladies, both wear 2X. So that should make it easy and I'll just, uh, I'll make two panels, sew them together and give her some sleeves and voila. <laughs> So that's that's it there, um, and I think it'll be pretty. I'll show y'all when I get when I get there, um, and uh, I'll show you the progress of it. It won't take me long. Uh, those tops don't take me long. I just put some TV or some music on and just get to stitching, and I can be done with something r relatively quickly. Um, my friends call me Speedy. <laughs> meep, meep. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> meep, meep. <laughs> I don't know how speedy I am, but I guess so, because, what was it, uh, less than a week ago, or some, some about a week ago before I decided to completely fo focus on Johnny's blanket and get it done, and then I finally got it done. I feel like it took forever, but I know it didn't. It only took me about a week, um, but I'm glad it's done, and, um, and now Will will be expecting his by his birthday, and he'll get it. I got the yarn right here. <laughs> So I think two shades of green and black will suit him just fine. Uh, he 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 likes stuff like that. Cause I asked him, I said, "Is there any other color besides green that you would like a blanket in?" Because you know I probably have that yarn already and wouldn't have to go buy any. And he says, "No, just green." And I said, "How about black and green?" And he's like, "Yeah, that'll work." So that's when I decided to get the big twist because for twenty three bucks I got nine skeins of yarn. And that's enough for this blanket. So, uh, I'm very happy about that. That it was so cheap. Thank you, Joann's. <laughs> uh, also, uh, took advantage of Premier's... Um, I think they had cheap shipping, I think. I think it was cheap shipping. I don't remember. I don't remember. They had, like, a buy $25 um, worth of stuff and get sh free shipping. And so I took them up on that and ordered some of the uh, Color Fusion Chunky and the color something, I forget. But it's the same color that I got from Cheryl. 
So uh, I ordered enough to uh, do him Johnny a sweater because it was less than it was less it was about three fifty I think a skein, and I really didn't see myself being able to find it that cheap again. So I went ahead and got it, even though I'm probably not going to make that sweater until closer to fall. Uh, but I wanted to have the yarn on hand so that I didn't have to go hunting it. And I, like I said, I didn't think I'd find it any cheaper than that because Hershner's has the same yarn for $4.99 a skein. And I got this for around $3.50. So I saved quite a bit. Uh, I think about six or seven skeins, I don't remember. Uh, and we had six skeins. So I, I think I'm going to end up with about 13 skeins altogether. And uh, that should be enough in the bulky five to uh, make him a nice pullover sweater. And um, he'll be happy with that. He will actually wear his pullover sweater. Will has a sweater that I made him not quite two years ago that he's never worn out, out of the house. He wanted, he wanted it sealed up. He wanted the front and back, you know, sewed up so it would be a pullover. And he tried it on and let me put a, take a picture of him. And that was the last time he had it on. So... And those were green sweaters too. <laughs> so maybe I can make him one this year. And he, once I make John's and he sees John's and if he likes it, I'll make him one. So that's how I'm going to do that. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm going to wing it with John's sweater too. I might go look at Bag O'Day and get some inspiration, but in the end, I'll just be winging it. <laughs> I'll take one of his shirts and I'll chain, you know, chain as wide as the shirt and do it that and just do it up. Mm, two panels sewing on the sleeves yeah <laughs> people make it sound a lot harder than it actually is so but it's fun it's it's uh to just sit and watch tv and just go you know that's pretty much how I, how the crochet is uh put on music i'll put on blues music um i like joe bonamassa um beth hart buddy guy uh keb mo and Taj Mahal and lots of other blues musicians that I enjoy. Uh, Samantha Fish, um, Joanne Taylor Shaw, I think is her name. But uh, yeah, there's that, yeah, that one that's from uh, U the UK, she's English. And so uh, she's a blues singer too. And uh, Eric Clapton, of course, does wonderful b blues music. And we can't forget the late and great B.B. King. <laughs> So, um, anyway, but that's just my favorite music. I also listen to old school rock. I was listen I was jamming out to Metallica earlier. <laughs> it, I was just feeling Metallica. <laughs> and I listen to old school Metallica, not new school Metallica. Because they, they like to switch it up to keep, rel to keep their self relevant. But I like the old school stuff. You know, I like all the hair bands. I grew up with all the hair bands. You know, Poison and... Um, bon Jovi and what is that other one I can't think anyway I'm running out of names but uh, <laughs> I like all that stuff I'm not so much into pop except for I do like Michael Jackson movies uh, music Michael Jackson and Prince I do like them uh, but I'm not crazy about pop music um, I just like a one or two you know pop musicians and that's about the extent of it um, I don't really listen to much pop music unless it's old school 80s stuff. Uh, this new stuff is just weird. <laughs> it's just weird. <laughs> so give me some stuff that's 30 or 40 years old and I'll listen to it. <laughs> but this new stuff, hmm, the only new music I like is the new blues type music that Joe Bonamassa puts out. He's my absolute top favorite. Uh, we saw me and Will went and seen him in concert last October, and it was wonderful. I dressed up and had, all, you know, had some sparkly clothes on. <laughs> Did my makeup and my hair and all that. Wore my little hat back here, my little fedora, turquoise fedora hat. Yeah, yeah. That's before I lost 120 pounds, though. So this year, well, he's not coming to Shreveport this year. The closest he's getting is uh, Mississippi. And I'm not driving to Mississippi. <laughs> but I'll just wait. Maybe next year he'll come back to Shreveport. I think it's probably every other year. I don't know. But he's touring all over. Uh, he had even a UK tour. And I know a lot of 
a lot of UK people really like Joe Bonamassa because he's he's very he has a similar style to Eric, Eric Clapton, a very smooth sounding sound. It's uh, he uses classic uh, old school guitars. He ha he's like a, a huge um, guitar collector. He has like over 500 guitars and amps. He collects um, classic um, amps and classic guitar, uh, guitars. And so when we were at the concert, I bet he switched guitars like seven or eight times. Every time he finished a song on one guitar, someone would bring him out a different guitar and he'd switch. So I guess he has them tuned to different um, songs. So that's what he does. He swaps out uh, guitars after each song, <laughs> which I was kind of fascinated by. But uh, yeah, it, it was pretty good. It was really wonderful. And because uh, I'm always watching his videos and his his live performance videos on YouTube while I crochet, and so when I'm in front of the, I'm in front of the stage because we got to sit in the in a in the uh, disabled port uh, spot that they had designated for disabled people. I was walking with a cane, so and I have a dis disability uh, ID from the state as well. But um, so we got to sit almost right. I mean, kind of like right in front of the. Um, the stage but uh, there was still like the floor seats in front of us on the floor but uh, yeah so we were right in front of the stage so I got to see everything and so when he started I, I was sitting there with my hands going okay what do I do with my hands because <laughs> I'm all the time watching those live performances on YouTube and crocheting while I do it you know so I'm in front of him at the concert and I'm like what am I gonna do with my hands <laughs> so I just started clapping <laughs> I just put my hands together like this until it was time to clap because I didn't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> but it was fun. It was fun. I bought Will a t-shirt and I bought me one of his vinyl uh, records of his latest um, album. I haven't played it yet, but uh, I have it over there. And uh, it was it, it's good to have it. Uh, I have a little record player over there. I just don't always have an occasion to play records. There's a whole bunch of stuff sitting in front of it. So I need to move all that stuff and start playing my records. But uh, who has the time? I'm dealing, I'm trying to train a puppy and, you know, run a channel, crochet items for the channel and uh, grocery shop, get stuff done for John. Uh, we got to go take him to the doctor tomorrow so that the doctor can fill out a form. Uh, once that doctor, we get the doctor to fill out this form, and I fill out these other forms that I got from the local office. We'll take everything back to the local office, uh, the doctor's form and the other stuff they sent me to fill out, and we'll take it all back over there, and um, we'll wait for the next step because we mailed off stuff last week. Um, yeah, last week we mailed off uh, some stuff that we had to fill out that we got in the mail, and so uh, it's it's just a. Those of you who are wondering about John's program, it's we got this one last step and then they'll uh, go over his options with him and we'll decide which which one he wants to do so um but the, from the way that the lady uh explained it to me that uh just about all the the programs he can get into have transportation so they'll pick him up in the morning and bring him back in the afternoon which is wonderful because you know i don't i don't have a lot of money for gas <laughs> so uh it, it that'll be wonderful for them to come pick him up and bring him home and i think that it'll just give him that much of a, a level of independence and he won't feel like you know oh, i gotta have my mama drive me everywhere you know what i mean so this will make him feel a little more independent that he can just catch a bus and go and do do his program and then catch the bus back home so uh it'll probably remind him a little bit of going to school but that's okay because he used to have to take the bus to go to school every day but um uh, at least he finished uh, middle school and uh, his high school years in the same school system and out there in Halton uh, which is about 15-20 miles from here and we used to live in the country and I'm glad he went to a country school and not a big city school because I worried a lot less you know because uh, there's school shootings and whatnot and um, you always worry about that when you know when the, your kids in school and we were just very blessed that nothing like that happened to John um, he did get bullied a little bit and uh, I had to go to the school and, and deal with that but they addressed it right away and the bullying stopped so um, I'm real proud of that 
the school we had back in Arkansas, not so good because when Will was going to school and we lived in Arkansas, um, I had to really, I had to just go pull Will out because he'd been threatened with jail if he, if he defended himself against these bullies. Um, so, you know, I found a way to homeschool him and just you'd pull him out, fill the papers out, just pulled him out of school. And, uh, the principal was there at the counter when I took his books back because I went and turned all his school books in. And he and he's like, why are you doing this? And I said, because I said you don't do your job and do, deal with these bullies. So I got to do your job, and take my kid out of school. And he just kind of looked at me, all threatening like. And I said, oh, and I'm not scared of you. <laughs> Nothing much scares me anymore. Um, I think I was a little scared, uh, easily scared when I was younger, but only flying big bugs and snakes scare me. People don't scare me. I'm not, I'm not, um, bothered by people that think they're going to scare me. So, um, <laughs> mostly I just laugh. <laughs> it's like, really? <laughs> Is that all you got? Come on now. <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> no, because I just walk away. If someone gets ignorant with me, I just, yeah, okay, whatever. Bye. Block. <laughs> I don't deal with that. I, I'm a no-nonsense kind of woman. I don't have time for that crap. So, um, you know, people get, you know, crazy and, and mean and want to, you know, talk smack to me. I just close the door on them. <laughs> I, don't let them I don't let them bother me because I know who I am. I don't need anyone to tell me who I am. So, anyhow. Oh, nice long video. I hope y'all are working on your projects while you're listening. I enjoy I enjoy hearing that y'all are doing that, and um, that's why I just kept running my mouth. I figured I'd make it long enough to where you can make some progress in your project while you're listening to me, <laughs> and hopefully you were entertained. <laughs> oh my! But I love y'all so much, and so does Jesus. And please to remember to adopt. Don't shop. Your best friend could be waiting for you at the shelter or the rescue. And I'll see you next time. Bye now.